got in the car. Yeah. You started going to the gas station and you just said out of nowhere, you said, I don't know what capacity that I'm supposed to be in your life, but, but I, I know, like you. but I know I like you. And yeah. I was driving. You dropped this bomb on me. Yeah. She hit the stairwell. She's like, I know, I know. <laughs> now do I, what else did I say? Uh, I forgot, babe. I know, I know. I just want to know. Yeah. And you said, no, no, no. With um, so much peace and confidence, but subtle and soft. Yeah. It was like everything I needed. No, no, no. I'm the man and the Lord will tell me. Yeah. And that was it. And I just said, okay. I never spoke like that in my life. I could relax. Like, yo, like that's like, a movie. What? That's a, that's like, that's like a. That's my hallmark. That's your hallmark. That's the Lord's kindness. Cause he knew that that. Yeah. I needed that and that clarity so swiftly, so confidently. And so that was it. And then the rest of the day while we're at church leading worship together during revival, yeah. I was like, so when did you like me? When did I like you? Like all the things. And it was just so sweet. And then the very next day, yeah. we went to the other mall. I guess you can say that was my Boaz moment. Wow. Yeah. I guess you can say that was my Boaz moment. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like, yeah. That's huge. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, I wish she was at the house with our pa with pastor the other day. Me and Jay was there, and she she hit us with a revelation of Ruth, uh, Boaz and Ruth, and uh, yeah, it hit us. But yeah, that was my Boaz moment. That's beautiful. It just hit me, and I knew at that moment, I got I I literally you don't know this. You were sitting in the car because I was in the gas station getting the Red Bull watermelon. Don't drink those. <sighs> drink those are the best, yeah. and literally. Um, I was like, oh, Lord, I can't believe I just said that. I'm sitting in the car. I'm like, okay. it is like we're trying to process through that. But then that, that marked us. That moment changed because let's go. Let's just go down there next day. Next day. Next day. We're we in go, the car again. We go to the mall yep. because you need to go get a blazer. He was like, I got to have a blazer. got to have a blazer. So you need to get a blazer. And us after we hung out at the mall on my way back and I was, I was leaving because you always think it was on our way there. It wasn't. We were it was on our way. We were leaving. The Lord said, and I told you, I said, yo, I know what capacity I'm supposed to be. In Out life. of nowhere, he just says this. And I'm like. And I was sitting there, and in my heart, I was like, what are we doing? And I said. I was like, what are we about to say? Okay, what's that? And I was like, you're my wife. I said, you're my wife. And, and I and, just drove, and I said. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Nah. You was like, okay. Yeah. You like, okay. Okay. And I knew, after I said that, I gave the rundown of our wedding. You said the Lord the, gave me a vision. Yeah, the Lord gave me a vision of the wedding um, we're supposed to have, which I feel like now that we're walking through our wedding, I think it was the vision that we both have for ourselves for a wedding. Which was beautiful. Which was beautiful. It, it was, was crazy. A confirming word. I definitely don't recommend if some boy just says, hey, you're my wife. Like, absolutely not. Yeah. Like, it needs to be a confirming word with both of you. Beseech the throne of God. Like, all of the things. But for us, like, when I said, okay, it was this resonating in my spirit of, yes. Yeah. Like I, I, I resonate. But then when he said the vision of our wedding was, uh, I was going down the aisle to a instrumental string quartet version of pieces by Bethel. That has always been my dream. Yeah. So when he said that and I'd shared that with no one, that was so confirming. Yeah. And it was wild. And I felt like in that moment when I said it, it marked us and then it activated everything. Yep. It literally jumped. It literally was like a car that hasn't been started in so long, and it just started, and we just zoomed. It just you're just, you're just going. Yeah. And I feel like I felt I felt like in that moment, it was like, okay, the Lord said, all right, you put it out there now. Let's go. Let's go. And that's when everything started. Later on that week, I reached out to my uh, son's mom. I told her about you. Like I told three you, days later. Yeah, I told you that. You gotta give me a second. I gotta uh, get rid of these girls. Um, I was shocked. Yeah. Can we just pause? Yeah. I was shocked. You were like, "No, I'm serious about this. Like, I, I gotta tell them. I gotta yeah. cut them off." And I, I was like, "Wait, you were talking to all these other people, but like, I didn't. There was no offense in me. There was no jealousy. It was more of like, okay. Yeah. Because you didn't give me a reason not to trust you. And you know, it's why so I, I trusted you. I, I like. Yeah, I don't have words for it. I don't have words for it. And I'm not trying to be like very like movie-ish or hallmarkish. Like I don't have words for it. But I knew that, you know, they always say like a man knows what he wants and he'll go after what he wants. And I did. I want you. Like, of course, the Lord knows I needed you. He knows I needed you. But I wanted you. And I was like, okay, I know what's up. Like, 
nothing else is gonna compare to this. I'm like, Lord, I'm gonna jump in. If this is the person, I'm gonna jump all in, and whatever comes from it, it's gonna come from it. If it doesn't go good, it's gonna be growth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I knew that yeah. the Lord hand was on it, and we both wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. And for some people, like, you know, they they have all their ducks in a row, and they're just waiting. Yeah. But some of us, we like to hold on to things that are comfortable. Yeah. And some people would have still held on to those things yeah. as a plan B. But what's so beautiful about your obedience is it was wholeheartedly and you yeah. cut everything off. You brought everything into the light and the Lord not only can bless that, he can trust that. Yeah, because I had no backup plan. You I were all in. Yeah, and it was it was wild like to see that man. Cause I'm not that man anymore. I'm, I'm a different man. Oh now. no, I'm not so the same woman. Like, like, yeah, like my hair got cut. My got shorter whole life and shorter. Has <laughs> got shorter and shorter, and my whole life has changed because yeah. of you, for the better. And I praise God for you. Like this, but it was it was the same way for me. Like I want people to understand this too. Like it wasn't just a thing of like she she did all this for me. There was so much everything that was on her prayer wall or even her journal time with the Lord started activating in me so what she was praying for things that she needed to see as a husband um she literally had to she was praying interceding for that before she even met me go ahead babe oh we talked about this a lot when we first started dating was or not dating you know yeah we really didn't date so that may 5th we just kind of marked that as our day like yeah we were like okay and then we just started doing life together but yeah. so ever since we really started courting and doing life together, and even the, even in the courting i'm sorry babe like oh, even the courting like the lord said it's not going to be the tradi- the 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 religious traditional way of courting it's going to be my designed of courting relationship yeah with him yeah and it has been and and it's so beautiful when uh proverbs 17 22 says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord okay first thing he who finds so you had to find me and it took some searching but here's the thing i had to find you as a wife not a girlfriend i was already a wife you had to yeah you were already cooking I was not your girlfriend. You was not. All you girls, you are not girlfriend material. That was never the end goal. So why are you settling for less? That's the honestly. And I, oh gosh, I'm so, so cliche. I'm just talking about this. Like, cause I was like always against all this stuff. I'm like, no, like, but cause I always want to talk about relationships. I never knew that I would actually be with the person that the Lord designed me to do and talk about it. But I talk about it from a place. It's like girlfriends come and go. A wife is here to stay. Ooh. Like for real, girlfriend. That's why it says, "Yo, she's my girlfriend." Like, like, yo, no, like, I'm not committed. Yeah, that says, "Yo, this I'm is just a season." Yes, this is a season, and and it may not work. So you're in this girlfriend stage, but when you when you have a wife, you'll make commitments, and we're not perfect. Like, Ooh. like, no, we're not. And it ain't, it ain't it ain't easy. Like, no, I won't tell you. Like, this journey was beautiful. Like, it was beautiful. If you look, oh, ultimately, we're yes, it was beautiful. It was not perfect. It was very challenging. It was some days that we didn't get it. Oh, I it was questioned so, it if was, this was yeah, it. Yeah, it was some days she pulled away. It was some days where I shut down. It was some days we barely talked. We were having to parent <laughs> we had to while parent. trying to figure each yeah, other out. Yeah, like she had Still. to jump into mama because Ryder immediately fell in love with her. Like, and we didn't even get a chance to even talk about we that. We will on the next like, time. Like, but literally, he he literally fell in love with her. So we, we transitioned very fast. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so you found me as a wife. And so that's the thing. Like you need to be prepared for the pursuit already. Woman of God. Like if you're calling yourself a woman of God, stop acting like a girl. Like yeah. it, it, it's time to step up because what are you settling for? Are you going to wait and be found? Because here's the thing. You're not being overlooked. You're being hidden for the right one. And so position yourself with the father to just be seeking his face because yeah. that's where we were found. Yeah. The Lord positioned us both. You don't have to go searching for it, woman. Like you don't, it is he, he who finds a wife, not a girlfriend, finds a good thing. And then what's so beautiful is the verse doesn't end there. It says that he obtains favor from the Lord. Yo, so I the, can talk about that. Go, go. Because so I mean, beautiful. I mean, I think, I think even too with that, um, finding you, the wife, the wife part, the favor became like being easy to and everybody think favor is like oh all these doors open up yes but the favor was like the relationship between you and you and you, you and my son's mom yeah that was the favor where the peace of god was on that the favor was how much Ryder got to like um 
you had you, you got to imprint. I was already ready for him. Oh gosh, he was ready for you. And I was ready for you. Yeah, but she but he was ready for you. Yeah. That's what we don't talk about. And one day That's when Ryder true. can have a serious conversation and, and and not be goofy, maybe he could you could have like a five minute interview with you with him. Maybe three maybe minutes. Maybe three <laughs> minutes, because that boy will he'll pick up his little game or whatever. Or, or wanna just go, wanna go in a playground. <laughs> he'll be like, he'll be like I wanna go. Dog. He'll be like, I wanna go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to go. But but that favor may yeah. look different, may be packaged different. The favor was me being ready for him. Like, yeah. I didn't know that that was something I was going I to mean, be like stepping you were, into. Like, like, favor was, like, us driving to Chattanooga on the weekends together to go pick him up and come back and then take him back Sunday. Like, you were you were hauling with me. Yeah. Like, you felt that weight that of what that was like. like and it wasn't easy because you got to think you were just nannying in certain seasons of your life. And now you're like, you're mothering another, yeah. another realm of mothering. And that's where it got wild because it was like, you're, so you started carrying the weight. And then here's the thing. You were getting more gigs. Like at this point in, in Ryan's journey, yeah. he was just like, I'll just be a touring musician. Like, that's the dream. That's what I want to do. You were already doing it, but then you were getting more calls. Like even financially, things were yeah. looking up in areas that, you know, before wasn't. And I'm not yeah. saying that's because of me. I'm saying this is what God's word says. But no, it's it is because of you. Yeah, it, but it is because it, it, it's you. It's you. If in my opinion, if there was a definition for that, it's you for that scripture, for, for that, for that passage. Yes, it's you. It's you. So, so, and so everything that I, I believe that I've gotten is because I, I was, I was being, I was first honoring the father yeah. by making a decision to choose you. Um, because I did, I had to make a choice. And you didn't have to, I didn't have to, but I made a choice and said, Lord, I hear you. And I like what I'm looking in the natural first thing you're banging. You're beautiful. We know that banging. like, That's baby, so you already know, like you're banging. I love you. Like you're my baby. I love you. And we get that. But the reality is too, like in the natural, you're like, you know, the reality is what we see in the world. And we're like, oh, she doesn't match up to that. But the Lord was like, chill, bro. You don't understand what you're about to unpack. And I and, and I and I and I unpacked the greatest gift. I unpacked literally, if there was a, a perfect gift that you can say, it is you for me. And everything I've gotten, I love you. Like literally, I love you. you was the perfect gift. And I would never, I will, I will, I will. I would never be ungrateful. Mm, me too. Uh, and I will always, always, always keep that image in my head of that gift. And that tree you made me buy that I didn't want to buy. The Christmas tree. Oh, the Christmas tree. <laughs> yes. I wanted a real tree. I'm always going to be petty about that. But I love you. But I knew, I knew, I knew, guys, I'm so, I'm, she'll tell you, I'm goofy and petty at the same time. But it's all in love. It's all in love. But she makes me do things I don't want to do. But I'm I'm always thankful that I get to do it, you know. Um, but I I really I really do like. You were that perfect gift, so I knew. And the Bible talks about he who find it, find his wife. I find my wife, my wife. Yeah. You were already there, like no, like seriously. I could have been anybody's wife. Like, hold he on, but think about wife. that. You were you were out there in the borough, preparing. I was in the field. And the field wasn't like, and, and that's the thing I love about the like, I'm understanding the beautiness of the Bible. So many metaphors, so many different things. Like, yeah, Ruth was in the field, in the physical field. But for you, your field was tucked away in Murfreesboro in your closet. Um, in that uh, house, um, doing, you're doing laundry. you doing nanning. laundry, cooking, cooking. Uh, baking, cleaning. Um, and I'm not limiting you, but I'm saying like the Lord was preparing you, no, your, your, the, 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 the spiritual side of it. You were tucked away into a closet and you, and you had all the prayer, like you were warring, you were in the field, you were working, preparing to be the wife, even though you didn't know that no. you were going to be that wife yeah. or the wife that you're going to be now going into this already with a child like i, I you had, no did, idea. had no idea had no idea. i was trying to date girls who had a kid so we had something i have some common ground the lord gave me somebody where the only common ground was him no serious that was the only common ground and we both love worship but other than that you and i there was no common ground very different oh 100 percent like i'm like let's go for a walk at the park and he's like let's sit seriously on the couch. hallmark transformers like yeah. <laughs> but the lord and his goodness like it's pushing me to remember to be human because before Yo, you cyborg. i turned all that off hold on another movie i'm thinking about what was the movie with a, the men the men it's a christian movie men it was like they were all like uh a christian movie courageous courageous i love that so movie. courageous and for me it's bad boys like 
<laughs> that's what that's how it but, like, but it's real I yeah mean, you're very much more not really anymore <laughs> because you you're so all in with the yeah, father yeah. like and that's the thing she kept convicted. saying to me she said she said you're jesus jesus ryan yeah because you like, used to call me it. jesus jesus, jesus. You're, you're jesus jesus, jesus. jesus yeah and so truly like there's so much we can say and so much more i want to get into like for real like you, you are my greatest gift outside of salvation yeah, yeah. and no like don't yeah yeah me like for real no like yeah like yeah. look no, at me up? look at me i love you like you you really are yeah. you're you're the man and thank you I for have, trusting me though I like for, for, for i think i've been sinking like in the seat gosh all right i'm serious now thank you for trusting me I trust thank you, you for trusting the voice of god that's in my life that i that i lead with thank you for trusting um me to lead our family i do um thank you for challenging me to journal so much more with the father even though i have my days where i miss it and he tells me and i'm like have you spent time, time with the lord, lord. <laughs> she, she can tell real quick and i'm like yeah i'm good i'm good I'm and like, i just worshiped with him but you know he takes my worship but he loves when i journal because he loves talking and he loves sharing and we get man like our whole relationship was built around journaling yeah. like and that's all it's we, so much we can we unpack have so much and we have a lifetime to do it with our yeah. friends but like i just i love you i never thought it would be you yeah and and i want our friends to leave with hope encouragement yeah. and that this is possible yeah that, like for real for real i don't i don't do the whole camera thing i like looking at her because she's so beautiful but like there's so much there's so much uh there's so much in this when you allow the Lord to take control, when you surrender, when you surrender. And I say this to my fellow brothers, like surrender this area, because I, I don't care what anybody say. You want to be a husband and some of you want to be a father. Like you need to surrender all of that to the Lord. You need to say, Lord, I don't know how you're going to get me here, but I'm believing you have shown me. I know that it's going to happen and I want this. What it well, like I'm going to sacrifice for it. So if that's fasting, that's that's not going out, that's not um, being on dating um, apps even, maybe. Dating, even like, though the Lord can use yeah, all things. Yeah, not saying he can't, but I'm just saying like in the season like actually tuck away. Yeah. Be be the man that you would want your daughter to be. I mean, I mean to be with. Oh, Lord God, not to be. <laughs> but to the be devil's with. Alive. No, I mean that's real. But to be with. Like you want to be the most desirable thing cuz they always say the first the first uh boyfriend that your daughter has is her father mm -hmm. that's her first that's her first man that she sees so you have to be the greatest example yeah. so for us it's like i have to be the best example i want my daughter to say oh, he's not like my dad like i don't want that like he don't have to be exactly like me but he better he better be godly he better lead with the voice of the lord yeah he better challenge her yeah he better call her higher yeah he better make her cut her hair if she has to amen and, I, and we'll get into that on a whole <laughs> other episode but even for the girls too like yeah I had an idol of yeah. what I wanted this to look like. Yeah. Like for real, I didn't realize, yeah. but I had a golden calf image and that it even pierces me to even say that, but it's true. I wanted it to look a certain way. I wanted it to be Hallmark. I wanted it to be everything to the max, to the full. And it wasn't easy. I'm sorry, but I hate no, cutting go, you go, off, go, go. but it, it wasn't easy because like I had to live up to that. No, no, no. But that wasn't who you were. Yeah. And, and that's not what God had for us Yeah. too. And so the Lord had to break down that, that image by showing me, do you want something better than Hallmark? Do you want, do you, want, do you like, do you want my movie? Yeah. The Lord's like, do you want me to write your story or are you going to continue to write yours? And it's so beautiful. And I, I know we're lingering like a little bit, but I, I know with like literally without this this and i know it's it's so general it's so like little, little like a little vague but without him this wouldn't be what it is like bro we're living our best life like literally it's not perfect like but the it literally favor is. the favor is crazy the favor and the blessings are crazy the support the tribe is crazy our tribe is amazing and I never thought I'd have this. And God has given you so much. I love, I love like your gals. I'm not going to give their name away, but I love your gals because Me like too. you were so alone in the season where you were pouring out. And the first time you, you took a trip with them, they poured into you yeah. and you came up with some cool ideas to end that trip. And y'all did. And it, and it changed their lives, but it brought you into a circle that you never thought, but our pastor saw you, our pastor's daughter saw you, who's, who's now your best friend. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? The Lord is so mindful yeah. of who you need, what you need, and right where you need it. Because the millisecond, the millisecond, something is not passing that two tests that we yeah. talked about for our good and for his glory. Yeah. The seasons shift. Yeah. And so right on May 5th of last year, the seasons shift because the Lord said, no longer is it good or for my glory for y'all to be alone. Yeah. And so you have to know he is so intentional not to waste our time, not to waste any season. And so you have to do the hard work now. Let go of those people. Let go of those graven images that you were bowing down to that are not bringing him glory because you could miss what the Lord is doing or you'll get his grace but not his blessing. And you want his blessing because your ah. blessing, your blessing, your the blessing, you can relax. I keep getting this vision of your arms can relax. Grace, you have to lift it up with your strength. Yeah. Good blessing, you can breathe. You can breathe. And rest. Yeah. You can laugh. Take your shoes off. You yeah. can you can let your hair down. You can walk around with no makeup on. Yeah. And understand that, man, this person I'm sees me loved. from me. Yeah. I've always been. Seriously, you're so fine, baby. I love you. Seriously, Y'all, can I say sexy yet? No. Okay. That word was not even in my vocabulary until Ryan said, you can be modest and Let's beautiful, see. sanctified, and sexy. And, sexy. and I was like, ooh, don't say that word. Yeah. But, but I'm you just are, been baby. growing. Thank you. And, you're, and, 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 and I say, I say, I say, like, and you're my husband almost, yeah, so you can say that. But I say sexy in the most beautiful way. I know. I say, I say not in a lustful way, but in the most desirable way of the Lord. Like, man, the overall of who Georgia Brown, soon to be Williams, like, is, it is sexy. Like, I get to worship with you. Like, like, I. That's I, what we like, do the most of all. Gosh, it's everything. But I'm just glad it's you. Like, it had to be yeah. you. Yeah. I need you. I need you. Yeah. Like, but I want to be the one that prays you through yeah. all the days of your life. Because here's the thing. Even this morning with the Lord, he said, you're the only one called to him. Yeah. So women that are already married, you're the only one called to your spouse. And if you're not finding the greatest joy in that, you're missing it. Yeah. Because you get to be the only person in this position to lift their arms because up. Because I don't carry you, baby. No. I lead you. Yeah. And yeah. you and you and you lock arms with me. Yeah. But a but a but. I don't carry you. We're teammates. The Lord yeah. carries us. Oh, it's so crazy. And I think, and I, uh, this thing get longer and longer. And uh, we got to go because we got to, we got to prepare for church. We got church. So we got church soon. But literally our, I don't, I don't carry you. And I really want us to talk about that because I feel like some of our friends and, and I'll say friends as in like the, our generation as in friends, they miss that. Because they want to, they they feel like leading is is pulling you, Tell and I, I never had I to pull to you. Them. You saw how I was going after something, and you and you wanted it. I saw you going after something, and I wanted it. When I saw how the Lord was changing your life through journal, even though I was journaling, but not as much because I was freaking out because I didn't think it was the Lord, and the whole time it was the Lord. Like I've been talking to you this whole time every time you journal. And I watch how well you journal, and then our journals align. And then we would just sit there. Oh and my cry gosh, together. Oh cry my together gosh. because I would sit there and be like, "You be like, no, you read first, you first. I said, "Baby, no, you have to read first because mine's going. My right? yeah, mine's going to add up to what you're talking about. It, it, and it always ended with mine. It always ended, and I, I I feel like I never had to carry you, and that's been the most beautiful thing because as a man, I already carry so much. And you're not my savior. Oh no, no, you were I'm never not. meant to carry me. I'm meant to, meant to lead you. Yeah. Lead you and lead with you. Yeah. And then together we're going to lead our family. And I'm going to follow you as you follow Christ. Yeah. And I'm going to willfully and joyfully submit. Yeah. And there's so much beauty that we can unpack in all of these things. But we still be, we still have pots and pans we haven't unpacked that we ooh, got as a gift. Yeah, we got to do that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot to do. <laughs> there's but, a lot of unpacking. But even just sitting with you in this moment and reflecting and sharing for the first time, there's still so many details and so many things. Honestly, could, I can honestly say this, and yeah, I say this ahead. I say this in a funny way, but it's, like, so real. This is the most we have ever sat down and talked in a long time. Like, we talk, but not, like, our story, just because of life. So I'm, I'm thankful that we, we, we get to do it here because it, it becomes more honest and authentic because we get to reminisce on these moments that we can, like, not forget, but we just, we, we do life together so well. Mm -hmm. we're living it like, feels like we're already married without the covenant yeah without living together like yeah. honestly because can't wait for the we covenant work, because i just i we honestly work together, you know? I, yeah and I, I feel like once the covenant comes there's another side of me you get to see and there's another side of you i get to see and i'm excited for it's it because be because i get to like get you coffee in the morning i'll be having visions of like getting you coffee in the morning and sitting there and talking and we or can like read our bible or like we're just already set up and we're just like we got to talk let's talk i just I just am so grateful and yeah. humbled and, and read not, our Bible together. Sorry. I'm yeah, at the, I'm at and, the, the, the and it's not an idol anymore. 
it, it, yeah. it's not we both know our identity that person can't park i'm sorry that just threw me off don't, don't look oh. we're focused on here now I'm sorry. <laughs> you're distracting me Mr. i'm Williams. sorry baby but it's okay but really at the end of the day like it's all yeah for his glory and we're thankful that it is for our good yeah and man i'll leave us with this the Lord said to Ryan after he made all this clear, he said, the Lord said that we can't be public until we're engaged. We need to do this in private, not in secret. And so, friends, there's a difference between privacy and secrecy. Secrecy breeds sin, but pri- privacy, it brings protection. Yeah. And so what are you protecting? Because whatever you protect in your life is what you're going to end up projecting. But whatever things you're hiding in secret that is going to continue to breed sin. Yeah. And so if you're hiding a girl, if you're hiding that sin of pornography or gluttony or whatever it may be that you're just stuck in habitually, it's time to bring things into the light. And even if you need to just go through it in private with your people, we're not asking you to blast it all over the internet. All of that is just people's highlight reels anyways. It's not R-E-A-L, it's R-E-E-L. The real of what yeah. they just want to show you. Yeah. But not it's a what's highlight behind. Reel. Yeah. The highlights. And and so truly like to be able to do it in private with you over the past really year almost, I was upset at first. I'm gonna be honest. You was mad. I was like, I want to share F with everybody Babe, how amazing I think, he is. I think you just started part two. <laughs> but this was the best thing that we ever did. The, yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just we'll let's, stop it here. No, 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 no. Let's just dig for like two minutes, real quick. I think we should leave them with that. No, nah, I Come can't. Come back. No, I, we can't because there is. I feel like we need to say something about that. Can really you say quick. it, baby? I don't know what to say. I, I feel like I feel like with the Lord in mind, like there's it was protection. Always. It was protection because he needed he needed to define what it needed to look like. He needed to Who define. We were oh gosh, because together, if we would have jumped out prematurely, we wouldn't have been ready. We would have been trying to meet the requirements of the of, of not the of Lord man. of man and their opinions and obligations, especially with a child in the mix. And then also too, we're very different. There's very. I thought I would be with some some white guy, you know, just whatever scrawny little white guy that's very intelligent and smart. And little did I know, I was getting a double package deal that was with this beautiful chocolate skin and a whole different other culture than. <laughs> what i was raised with Babe. let's just be honest we're going there like honestly Go ahead, right? ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah total black and white like yeah. even one of your family members said why can't you end up with someone that looks like you yeah one of your own kind literally that was the words yeah and so we needed to be defined by the voice of the father yeah. getting to know one another through his lens through the lens of heaven rather than man of getting to know you alongside everybody else because i needed to know you for it, you thank you lord it literally changes it goes from Lord and us. That's where the dynamic is at. But if we would have did it differently, it would have been man, Lord, then us. Yeah. He that's doesn't come good. second to anything. No, he is first. He is number one. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He didn't say seek second or third mm-hmm. or next Tuesday. Or when you feel like it. Yeah, and sometimes we do that. Mm-hmm. So, so that's good. I'm baby. guilty of that sometimes. Mm-hmm. I get and it, you, me too. You check me. You would be checking me. We'd be checking each other. That's yeah. why iron sharpens iron, and that's yeah. why we're here. And so... Ah, like what? This is probably two parts, but friends, thank you so much this for joining long. us. This is long. I'm sorry. I no, I don't like, ever do you, apologize. Do you feel like I feel? I feel like we rambled. Did we ramble? Oh, absolutely. So we'll probably cut this <laughs> down a little bit. But friends, thank you for for joining me on this journey. You've seen me yeah. through highs, lows, in between. Um, we've done a lot of episodes on dating and relationships on Faith and Friends, and so to have you on here, I'm and you're like work, shook. But you're walking. You walk through it. Yeah. Yeah. You walk through it. Yeah. So. And then now we're getting to walk through it together. And you're incredible. I you just am so glad it's you. I'm blessed. And I'm excited for all of the conversations to come with you through this engagement season. And then being married and being with you for the rest of my life is going to be good. life's greatest honor and pleasure. And so this is how I end every episode of Faith and Friends. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? Go ahead, baby. Okay. Then one day you'll say it. I just know it. We'll get him to say it, guys. There is a song on your heart. Only you can sing. Your voice is important. Bye. I love you. I love you. Good job, babe.